treatment in my hair because my scalp has been so dry and has been peeling for days it's disgusting actually i have a few important events and things that i have to shoot this week and i honestly don't trust myself to do an amazing job with my blowout so this is the damage guys we made it we get a wash and blowout Oh, I love it. Okay, I look like a crazy person, but it's later in the day. The blowout was pretty good. It's lasted me so far throughout the day. The curls kind of fell though, which made me sad, but I'm running around. I was shooting a Ralph Lauren campaign with Keo. It's for Valentine's Day. And this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this Ralph Lauren really cute sweater. This skirt is from Tiger Miss, and I'm wearing these little boots. They're not Uggs. My Uggs are actually over there. But I'm meeting Sochi. We have a Marvel premiere in a few days and we have nothing to wear, so. And our stylist is out of town. <laughs> so we're going to a showroom to see if we find something for Quantum Mania for the Ant-Man premiere. And that's where I'm going. Let's go. We're at Zing. I just got done with my fitting. I picked out a beautiful Alexander McQueen dress for the Marvel premiere and Sochi's dress is to die for. But you guys will see because we're getting ready together. We're at Zing now. Ow! He picked me up. We shot our Ralph Lauren campaign. I'm very excited. But anyways. Oh, hi. Look at the little bud. I love olives. Okay, we have to talk. As you know, I'm a huge Sarah J. Mass fan. I've read Akatar. I have read Crescent City, the series. And I finished House of Sky and Breath today, and I'm not okay. I hadn't had time to like really process it, but the last page sent me into a full-blown spiral. I don't know how I'll recover from this, and so I don't think anything will ever fulfill me the way Akatar I do. Oh. has. Side eye. Side eye. <laughs> but anyways, I need something to put my emotions into. So I'm starting the Throne of Glass series, but my sister told me not to start with Throne of Glass. There's another book that I'm supposed to buy that goes into like her life before like all the things take course. So that is what I will be going to pick up at Barnes & Noble today because I have Throne of Glass, but apparently I'm not supposed to read it like that one first. So we're gonna go to the girl really quickly, just pick up a book. I'm excited. The ending of House of Sky and Breath was really good, honestly. The one thing I will say about the Crescent City series is that there's a lot of world building, like I mentioned in one of my vlogs. So it takes a while to like get into it. But holy shit, House of Sky and Breath was insane from start to finish. It was so good. I actually read it on the plane on the way to London. The book is like 1,200 pages. It's pretty long. And I finished it on the way back from my flight from Paris. But I had like 200 pages left, which was like when a lot of the things went down. And I finished that this morning. <sighs> if you know, you know! I don't know, apparently Sarah J Maas is making an announcement in February, I've read some conspiracies. I need Miss Girl to address the class. I DM'd her today, and you know what? I don't care if I sound like a fan. Like, you know that TikTok, nah, it ain't that funny. <laughs> like when people DM their idols, that's me DMing Sarah J Maas. I'm done talking, I feel like I'm being really annoying. It's maybe because I had coffee. I really needed a midday pick me up, guys. I've been up since like three in the morning. And my Stop it. Guys, my Dior family sent me flowers, Jeff Lethem flowers, which is like a very famous florist. He curates like Kim Kardashian scents for her fragrances with his flowers or something like that. But look how stunning. Thank you guys so much. Oh, it's so insane that Dior sends me flowers, by the way. Also, Keo just wanted to mention this is the biggest blueberry he's ever seen. This is like a normal blueberry. No, no, no. No, those are big ones actually. This is a normal blueberry. In comparison. <laughs> Yeah, that's that GMO right there. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> no, they're organic from Gelson's. I'm gonna change very quickly because I'm gonna help Mario film a podcast episode. We're just gonna talk. But anyways, I'm gonna change out of this and put on something more comfortable for the podcast. 
So let's go. I really need to get a camera tripod for this car, but I just changed. I honestly changed into the sweater Kyo was wearing because it's cold in LA right now. But we're headed to Mario's. I just changed into more comfortable clothes. I had to wrap up something with work. We're just gonna hang out. I think Antonio is gonna meet us there but it's just gonna be like a normal chill podcast i feel like mario and i have conversations for hours and i think it could help some people honestly we give each other therapy so i'm excited mario and i live really close to each other so it's gonna be like a four minute try <laughs> Oh my Should goodness, I, oh, I miss you, I miss you so much, my pretty boy. Oh my goodness. Mochi sometimes pees when he gets really excited, like on Mario's birthday, but... Mochi! Mochi. <laughs> I'm scared. He sucks. Come here. Oh, he's ready for it. There he goes. Yeah. Look at Mario's podcast setup. It's at home now. Yes. Stream it everywhere. I'll link it down below. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Good morning. I was feeling a little bit nostalgic today and was really in the mood for Cuban food, so I ordered Bortos. It's like the only Cuban bakery kind of vibe that we have here in California and LA. I got some pan cubano because I love Cuban bread, making sandwiches. I got croquetas and papas rellenas. I got un pastelito de guayaba, which is in here, and some cookies I saw that I wanted to try. And I got some tamales de puerco, and I got an iron beer, like a iron beer. It's Cuban root beer. I really wanted this croqueta. Just wanted to share. Okay, so I'm on my way to the gym. No one come for me for wearing makeup. I was filming a campaign, and I have to do something after this that requires me to have makeup on, so I'm gonna probably break out from this, honestly. I am gonna go to the gym and just get a quick workout in because I haven't been to the gym since I've been traveling. Mario just came by, he's actually behind me to pick up some things that I had for him. I'll probably see him after this. I'm fully gonna be 15 minutes late to this workout, but it's okay. sent me to fit the space that I have here and I cut it too long so I'm trying to adjust and cutting off the little tiny pieces my jet lag is still messing me up I woke up at 4 like 50 this morning which is really annoying because then it makes my days feel really crazy and I just am really tired by 8 p.m. so I have a really crazy busy day today. I have a photo shoot at 2 p.m. for a magazine thing. I can't talk about this yet because it won't be up by the time this vlog is up, but it's very exciting, obviously. Then I have to pick up my Stella McCartney outfit. I had a fitting with Stella McCartney earlier this week for their collaboration with Adidas. They're having a party here in LA, and that's tonight, and I need to go buy eyeglasses because I lost my Bottega ones. They're nowhere to be found. I think I lost them on a plane or something at some point last year. There's just days where I don't leave my house and I'm just wearing my contacts and I find it a bit wasteful to use up my contacts when like I could just be wearing my glasses around the house and contacts dry my eyes out. So I would just much rather that. So I'm gonna go to my optometrist. There we go. Wow. This is beautiful. It looks so beautiful. I'm actually gonna put this in my dining table. There you have it. This just instantly brightens up a room. I don't know how to explain it, but. All right, let's go to Beverly Hills and get this stuff sorted out. I really need to get glass. We're on the way, we're in Beverly Hills driving to Optometrics, which is where I get my contacts and stuff. And let's see if we find any frames we like. The last time I went, I didn't see a lot of selection, but I'm just gonna pick one today because I, when I was in London, I was like going to the designer stores, but they don't have eyeglasses. They only have sunglasses, which like makes no sense to me because that's like the one thing of inventory that they don't carry from the house which I mean I guess that's the thing but and then I'm gonna get back to the house make myself some coffee and get ready for the day because it's it's gonna be a crazy one all right I 
got back from Optometrics. If you hear rumbling, it's my dishwasher and I'm making Cuban coffee. I need a little bit of a pick me up today since today's gonna be a long day and my jet lag is just like not fun. I got the Stanley cup, okay? I'm a cup girl and I grow emotional attachments to cups and I like hyper fixate on it. My Chamberlain coffee, like clear, like straw cup, whatever, was my go to, but then I left it somewhere and I forgot where it went. So this just keeps like the temperature cool or warm depending on like what it is. So I got it and it's been helping me drink more water. So I'm happy with it. And we're brewing some Cafe Bustelo over here. A lot of people are finding out about like Cuban coffee, but like specifically the coffee that like Latinos use, like I guess like Cubans use Cafe La Llave and Cafe Bustelo, Colombians too. And now it's like a TikTok thing, which is very exciting. I'm happy that like that's being more visible, but I bought a big thing of Cafe Bustelo just in case if it sells out because it was starting to sell out. But I have a big old tub of it, so making myself a little pick me up. Look how cute. Cuban coffee. I think I've perfected the foam, finally. And my little cubita taza. And my little flowers. Okay, I got dressed and ready. I'm headed to a photo shoot. And this is head to toe Ritzia, Bottega, and Revolve. Good morning, guys. I woke up really early this morning but i was feeling really bad yesterday i took a bunch of vitamins i don't know if it was that or i'm coming down with something i don't feel sick but i'm really really tired and like really drained so i'm gonna make myself a green smoothie this morning i'm just gonna try and eat really well for the next few days and hopefully I start to feel a little better but i had a bunch of events to go to last night and i just completely knocked out on the couch and fell asleep there woke up at 3 a.m and then went to my bed so i'm gonna make a little green smoothie i have spinach have some apples banana avocado lemon and cucumber i'm also gonna add some collagen and yeah and then i'll take some vitamins with it maybe because i took a bunch of vitamins that i felt bad i don't know i had a killing event last night that i, I didn't go to rita aura it's grammy's weekend and i'm just like <laughs> And I just completely knocked out. Honestly, I don't regret it. I think the jet lag from London too had something to do with it. I've just been really tired recently ever since I got back because my days have been really full and like packed with things to do. So maybe I needed the rest, who knows. Okay, I brought out the big blender because this little one from Amazon decided to not work. I added some vegan protein, doubled up on all the ingredients, and also added a little bit of matcha for energy. Look how pretty. This came out better than I even anticipated. We're at the Grove. We were supposed to meet up with Griffin for lunch, but Griffin ended up going to the Blue Ribbon in the Palisades. In oh, thank you so much. Instead of the Blue Ribbon at the Grove. So, <laughs> it's just me and Keo. Um, but we have Josh's birthday today, which is gonna be fun. We haven't gone out in so long. We're like boring. We're not boring, we're just... Wholesome. Yes. But yes, I'm excited. I wanted to come here today. Just like my little dose of serotonin. She is beauty, she is grace. She's Miss USA. This is the best spicy tuna and crispy rice that there is. I've had it from many sushi restaurants, but not quite like this. I don't know what they do, but it's so yummy. We made it to La La Land. They have really good yummy matcha here. The line here is always long. Okay, I got my matcha with CBD and they gave me a free cookie, which was really nice. Shout out to the girls there. You guys are all very sweet. And now we're going to Barnes Noble again. All right, we left the Grove. I don't understand, little rant actually. So we were at the Grove for three hours and we valeted the car and they told us, oh, do you want to wash the car? And I was like, yes, because honestly LA is really dusty and the car was like getting a little dust coating on the outside. They said it would take an hour. I was like, okay, cool, yeah, we'll be here. Three hours later, we come to valet and like pick up the car and they hadn't even started washing the car. So they like half-assed 
the car wash job and they're still like dust coated like all over and i paid for the car wash i didn't even say anything but when we got there we had to wait another 30 minutes for them to like haul ass and like give us the car so our car's not even like fully clean this sounds like such a rich person like you sound like a rich person complaining about rich no person because problems. i on no you know what i value my money and the fact that they charged me like the amount they charged me and then like the car was there for three hours and we were sitting in the sun waiting for it. It's not cool when we were there for like three hours. But anyways, we're going to Target because Kyo... Actually, I don't even want to go to Target. Kyo wants to go to Target. I need razors. Yeah, because we're going to Jackson Hole in two days. So we got to prep. Actually, we're going in three days. So Maybe we can find some boots at Target. <laughs> I doubt it. I ordered some boots off Revolve and I paid for it myself. Don't y'all worry. I'll let you know if they're good or not. <laughs> so I just finished getting ready for Josh's birthday. My top is my outfit online. My skirt is from Zara. This is the one that I bought in Paris. My boots are Amand Atelier. My jacket is Motel Rocks. And my bag is from The Crypt. And this is my makeup today. I did burgundy on the eyes. I wanted to try something different and I really like it. We made it! <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> we are literally rotten. We're. Well, speak for yourself. I'm a thriving human being who's beautiful. I don't know. It's not true. I'm rotting. I'm honestly not doing too hot today. I'm really fucking tired. Hi, Amanda. Because I had five margaritas last night. Oh my god, you're so honest and raw with your audience. <laughs> I love that. I have the sunglasses on because, like, I literally look like Rudolph. I have this huge pimple on my nose and it's, like, completely red. I think I left the tanning lotion on too long, but like I feel no, like it, I, it looks good. It, it looks. I feel weird. like I look like Donald Trump. No, you don't. Oh, okay. You look bronzed. Thank God. You look bronzed and fresh. We're in K Town. We're going to H Mart to get some like Asian snacks and groceries that you know are essentials in my half Asian household. Is that my literal hair salon? <laughs> <laughs> what? Right, H Mart. I'll show you guys what's in our cart so far. Here's everything we have so far. I'll give you guys a haul later. Mushrooms? We made it. Okay, we dropped off Mario and now we're at KBBQ. Yummy. We were gonna make the soup at home, but honestly, I needed some meat in my bones. I need to eat something. Got some kimchi, pickles, radish. This is the spread. This is also my favorite K barbecue place. It's called Magal. Okay, I'm back from H Mart. I want to do a little haul of everything that I got because honestly, I haven't been in a really long time, so we restocked a lot. And the H Mart was in a little plaza in K Town, so we also went to a K beauty store and a K pop store, and I did buy something. So the first thing I got was just regular kefir probiotic yogurt, which I really love. I I'm a big fan of probiotics and yogurt right now. It really helps with my stomach. I got some mango. I always wondered why Kyo's mom mangoes are always perfectly ripe and it's because she buys them at the Asian market so we got some kimchi because we love kimchi and also I learned how to make kimchi soup and I'm very excited to have my kimchi we got these Thai tea beverages like the drinks Kyo is a really big fan of Thai tea I am too but he wanted some canned ones we got some yakult which is really yummy yogurt we got jellies Kyo loves these so we got them we got soybean paste the do don jan don jan hopefully i said that right sorry if i did it soybean paste got some sesame oil Kyo needed that i got these hello panda cookies i love these they're strawberry i also really like the matcha ones as well we got the boki for our kimchi soup it's like little rice cakes rice patties they're really yummy and they don't really taste like anything but it's just nice to chew on honestly these old carto chips that kyo really like got some horrible gummies these mogu mogu peach flavored drinks that kyo likes i got some castile soap for my laundry because i just recently learned that laundry detergent contains formaldehyde which is a carcinogen that can give you cancer and it won't say flat out formaldehyde but 
it'll like hide it with different chemicals and they don't even have to list it and it causes cancer so this is a very clean way to do your laundry if you're into that sort of stuff i just like to be you know good where i can with my wellness i got these bulldog ramen i've never had these and i really want to try it because everyone talks about them i got some cuties Got some chopsticks because whenever we order pho from our favorite place, they never send chopsticks. It's really annoying. Also, we got these jellies that Kyo likes. Got some blueberries, some tofu, some more Okarto chips. And I bought two of these bowls for our kimchi soup when we make it here. And the tofu is also for the kimchi soup. Okay, I'm going to put this away and then I will be back to show you guys everything else I got. Okay, moving on to everything that I got at the K-Beauty store. My scalp is really, really dry right now and is kind of like peeling. I have dandruff. And it's not like super intense, but it has not fully gone away. And I've tried scalp treatments, like oil stuff. And I like use my scalp massager, which has helped, but it's not fully gone away. Way. so i asked the lady if they had any like good scalp treatments and she recommended this scalp scaler and it has like peppermint oil and a bunch of like hydrating things but also to exfoliate so i got this very talk one of my favorite things from innisfree their green tea serum and then this is their green tea cream this is so hydrating i'm a huge fan of innisfree i'm breaking out so i got some tea tree sheet mask I really wanted to try the cushion foundation, so I got this Troyeyuki Soul cushion foundation. She kind of like applied some on my skin and it was like really nice and apparently a lot of estheticians recommend this one. I got some puffs like for the cushion and also to just like use when it comes to like my other foundations because I love the way the cushions apply it. I got this Sugar Twinkle eye glitter that's really popular right now. I think I got the wrong color, but it's fine. It's like a really pretty shimmery light pink. And then Kiel wanted to try the blueberry rebalancing cleanser from Innisfree. So we got that. I got this just to like shave my face. And she was really sweet and got me some samples. So thank you. And for the things that I got at the K-pop store, I just got one thing. There's a water bottle in here from earlier. I got this little cookie tumbler. I didn't realize this was Jungkook's, but I love Jungkook either way. But I'm more of a Jimin girl myself, but this was the cutest one aesthetically. So I don't even know what this looks like. So let's see. Oh, it's so cute. Also, this was $30. Damn. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, gotta show you. That's what it looks like. It says BT21. Comes with a straw and then it comes with this cute little Thing. And then this is like a lid for it. Yes, I'm happy with my purchase. Anyways, I'm gonna try some of these out tonight. I'm gonna go take a bath. I'm honestly really tired, but I'm glad that like I'm up and moving because the worst thing you can do when you're hungover is just like stay in the same place, for me at least. So yeah, I'm gonna put all this away and we'll talk later. Ooh, ooh, ooh.